Man, what was happening, man? Hey, let's do it, man. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Hey, let's do it, man. Say no more. AJ Brown talking to Jalen Hurts via FaceTime. AJ Brown, a new destination. That was the big surprise of the night. The Titans trading AJ Brown to Philadelphia. Joining us now from Philadelphia, our good friend and colleague, Peter King. Hello, Peter. How are you? Mike, Chris, how are you guys doing? That was fun last night. It was, Peter. It was great. It was one of the most action packed, awesome first rounds I can ever remember. What was with limited the real quarterback thing that was action? Great is that every time one headline happened, 10 minutes later, two other headlines developed, you know, and I thought, I thought one of the biggest things last night and we'll get to Philadelphia, but one of the biggest things last night is what green Bay didn't do. And, you know, look, I, I mean, much is said, Ooh, boy, what's Aaron Rodgers thinking today. Ooh, but I would be ticked off if I were Aaron Rodgers, supremely ticked off. You got the 22nd and 28th pick in the draft. This is a draft that had six wide receivers in it that appeared to be of significant first round quality. You got some debate over Traylon Burke. Some teams really didn't like him. Right. But clearly the four top ones that went all in a row, the, you know, everybody liked those guys. Yes. And what did Howie Roseman do in Philadelphia? He went and got a franchise receiver in A.J. Brown. What did Brian Gutekunst do in Green Bay? He refused to pay too much to move up. And I do think that, they, that the Green Bay Packers were trying to move up and failed. Well, and what makes it even worse is that the Lions, the hapless and inept Detroit Lions, operating yes. from a position lower than the Packers with only one first round pick found a way to spring up into the middle of the action to get Jamison Williams. That has to make Aaron Rodgers even more upset. Well, and they did not uh, ruin the rest of their draft to do so. You know, they basically traded two picks in the thirties to move up uh, whatever it was, 20 picks or so to go up and get Jamison Williams. Now, I don't think Jamison Williams would have been the perfect pick pickup for Aaron Rodgers because right. I, I, I dismiss this. Oh, Jamison Williams is going to be ready in early October. Stop, stop. You know, you have ACL surgery. You don't come back in a pristine, clean way after eight months. You just don't. So I, I don't know when he's going to come back. But Aaron Rodgers needed Chris Olave on this team. That's what he needed. He needed his general manager to go find a receiver who's ready to play and contribute and be a huge factor opening day. And the Packers did not do that. Peter, did you get the sense from people you talked to in the league that, you know, people thought Green Bay would make an aggressive move to, to move up or, yes. or do that? You did. You, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I thought I thought Green Bay, I was saying it all, the, you know, the last four or five days. I think Green Bay is going to try hard to move up because, Chris, listen, I am a numbskull. I am Shemp of the Three Stooges. And, and I knew, I had in my mock draft, six receivers in the top 18. And that's what happened. And I'm not saying, oh boy, what a, what a Nostradamus. Right. Nostra mock draft Damas. I'm not saying that. The point that I'm making is that everybody was talking was about hot on the these receivers. receivers. Right, right. Everybody. Right. And so if you thought you were going to stay at 22 or maybe make a little nibble move up and get one of those guys, not going to happen. Not going to happen. And and I don't know whether Brian Gutekunst indeed maybe only liked let's just say for the sake of argument let's say he only liked chris olave and 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 maybe whoever drake london i i don't know who he liked right right but let's just say he only liked a couple and by the time 11 rolled around he's gone you know new orleans trades up and gets olave whatever whatever you know you got to find a way even if you have to pay significantly more than you wanted to 
And to me, uh, Brian Gutekunds didn't do that. And Peter, here's what's amazing. At a time when you have teams falling all over themselves to get in position to draft rookie receivers with high expectations, and we know that a certain number of them are going to work out and a certain number won't, you have Howie Roseman busting open the vault to pay a guy that his current team doesn't want to pay. We saw it happen with the Raiders and Devontae Adams, the Dolphins and Tyreek Hill, and now the Eagles join that F them picks club and they give up draft capital and money to get A.J. Brown, to go with a proven commodity instead of rolling the dice on one of these rookies because we thought going into the night the Eagles were going to try to maybe sneak up a few spots and get a rookie. They had another plan, and that's go get A.J. Brown. I think the A.J. Brown thing is fascinating, Mike, because first of all, understand the mechanics of how this had to work. And I talked to Howie Roseman about this around midnight last night. Just understand the mechanics of this and how difficult <clears throat> it was. They did not complete the, uh, the framework of a trade with John Robinson of the Tennessee Titans until yesterday during the day. Then and only then could the Philadelphia Eagles engage the agent for A.J. Brown into contract negotiations. And Howie Rosen admitted last night, this trade was not going to get done until, uh, I mean, unless we had a an agreement with A.J. Brown, because if they didn't have an agreement with A.J. Brown, you can imagine he's going to hold out until they pay him 30 million a year. And, and I think what happened going back and forth, you know, Howie Roseman said last night that this, the deal got done around the 15th pick in the draft. And think about it, Mike. Tennessee took Traylon Burks at number 18. Yeah. So they had to be prepared to make a pick or or they were going to call it off and no one would have known about this, they, they hoped. And so that is exactly how this happened. One other thing about this trade in this story, okay, so everybody, I, I was under the impression, okay, Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown, they know each other okay. Do they, they, but in fact, when, uh, when Jalen Hurts was still at Alabama, he tried to recruit, uh, you know, he tried to get A.J. Brown yeah, to, go to, Bama. You know, to come over right. to Alabama. And so there was this thing between A.J. Brown – A.J. Brown had a birthday party for his daughter over the weekend, and Jalen Hurts was there. That's how close they are. So this is going to be the start, I think, of a really good chance for Jalen Hurts to win the quarterback job long-term in Philadelphia. My, uh, Peter, I want to just piggyback on this just a little bit more there, too, just to be, because it's interesting, the dynamic. I, I love the, how you're laying out about the A.J. Brown conversation and getting some of those parameters done. Now, do you know if, like, was this one where it was going to happen pretty much no matter what once they realized? No. Or or was it one of those where once they saw the board fall and the two Ohio State guys oh. and, and then they made the move, we go, we like this guy better than whoever's left no. on the board? Yeah, Chris, that's a great question. Right. This trade was irrespective, I think that's a word, of whatever happened yes. in this draft. Gotcha. The Philadelphia Eagles wanted – A.J. Brown, after they did all of their due diligence on the veteran receivers and understood that Debo Samuel was not getting out of San Francisco. Right. But I think this team wanted A.J. Brown more than they wanted the receivers in this draft. And they understood, you know, Howie Roseman admitted this, having a quarterback on a rookie contract allowed us to do this because we can spend money that once we pay a quarterback, we may not have exactly that kind of money. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.